Hi, this is a quick tip on how we can speed up our development time. So right now, every time we go on to build and run, we are building the Android device so it has to compile it and then copy it across. Now if you've got a machine slightly more powerful, maybe not enough to run full div uh, VR games, uh, you should still be able to get away with this. So I've got a fairly heavy duty USB-C cable, so I can click on to PC, I can click on switch platform, uh, and while that's doing that, this can take a little while. So what I'm going to do is jump over into the Quest itself and enable Oculus Link. Okay, so here I'm inside Oculus. We just click on the control panel. I can click on Oculus Link. So once you've got Oculus Link enabled, do make sure that you also have Oculus App installed first. You should be able to go onto devices and you should be able to see that it's there ready to use. This is just the same way as now as if you've got an Oculus um, Rift installed. Okay, so I hope that's done that. I'm going to jump into player settings. I'm going to come down onto that to make sure everything's okay. Yep, looks fine. I'm going to go onto XR Plugin Management. So on, up to now we've had the Android Oculus, what we also want to do is click on the desktop and also tick the Oculus button. So now, provided everything's, everything's running fine, I'm just going to check my headset. Yep, so in my headset everything's looking fine, I'm just going to press the play button and hopefully... There we go, it's compound the game. And now as I move the headset around in the real world, we can see it's now working in Unity. So this is a great way of, of doing our little tests. The key thing to remember though is once you're doing it this style, you can maybe get carried away by having a lot more assets, more lights, better textures, because it's standing, because it's now running as a standalone, well, not as a standalone, it's now running as a desktop powered VR system. So it's really important just to keep do checking that it does run as a standalone quest game as you're developing. Okay, see you next time.